imagine shooting a man with your last bullet and he stands there unfazed. Imagine shooting a man with your last bullet and he stands there unfazed. Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak, Wadash, that's given all praise to the Most High, and name is only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And real quick, I want to go into this video, man, about this uh, short I made a few days ago. All right. And, uh, as you see on the screen, you have this Jake. He's, you know, standing strong and bold. And in the back of the picture, you see shadows of men with guns and they're shooting him. But the bullets are not um, piercing his flesh. OK, the bullets are not piercing his flesh. They're piercing his shirt, but not, but not his flesh. And this is the time we're coming into because this devil Esau is about to come down with great wrath. He knows that he has but a short time. And this man is going to wild out. All right. Um. Uh, I've seen a few videos. All right, one video in particular. You got Elon Musk. He's making uh these humanoid robots, and you know they're talking about they're gonna use these robots for his particular jobs. And let me say this too, as you see in all these sci-fi movies, they're gonna use them robots to, you know, uh, apprehend people and even you know unalive people. Okay, that's why they were talking about defunding the police. They're gonna create a new police force like um RoboCop. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, that's going to be one thing. You know, I, I also saw a video recently, which I'll blow over. I can go into it uh, later of uh, in, in the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Um, they have technology to watch everywhere you go at all times. They can see the whole city, you know, in one room. You know, they got, um, you know, the robot, the robo dogs. They got the, the drones. They got everything, man. Now they got robots doing all these jobs. All right. Another one was... um how they're going to come down with um you know medical martial law with these different pestilences uh going on around um you know the impox and you know they're going to you know try to force people to get you know veed so I, I bring those out to say these are all weapons that esau is forming against us man all right and the elect israelite men will receive true power in these last days and we're going to need it okay we're going to need it and this is why all right, because this devil is coming down with great wrath and he's not he, he ain't playing. All right. He ain't playing. And when they do come down, the Lord is going to, you know, uh, put his spirit upon his men to, you know, react. OK, in the spirit. All right. You're going to have Israelite men out here. That's going to have that's going to get power in these last days. And Esau knows this. OK, Esau knows this, man. So let me just grab a few scriptures. I won't make this too long. Just a quick, you know, early morning break on while I'm on my break. I'm going to do a video. Isaiah 59 verse 17 it says no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the righteousness is of me saith saith the Lord Yahweh right so no weapon and Esau like I said is forming many weapons you know you got bio weapons they got all kind of weapons now man all right you can't even wrap your mind around it the videos I've been seeing uh, lately man it's like bro as, as Ezra said, woe was me, woe was me, who would deliver me from those days? But the Lord has something in store. And this is why, um, you know, the Lord is, uh, you know, dealing with, with, with his men. This is why the Lord has given us his truth. You know, he's given us the, the heads up of what's to come. And through the spirit, when that time comes, the Lord is going to intervene. All right. Another brother in the camp, a brother, Mawan, he did a video about super soldiers. They're saying they're making, you know, Iron Man and, um, and uh, who, who, who was it? It was I. I know it was Iron Man, and it was some some other Marvel character that they're, that they're trying to create. You know, a whole force. You know, to you know, come for them, ready to come for the men of the Lord. It says, but it, but in that coming day, in the NLT, no weapon turned against you will succeed. So no matter what weapon these people use, it's not going to succeed. Okay, you you now now they're talking about in 2025, six billion people are going to be deceased. Okay, they're going to unalive six billion people somehow, some way. They got the Georgia Guidestones. They want to bring the population under 500 million. So we know that great death and destruction is coming. 
with all these different pestilences they're talking about now and diseases. We know something is coming. All right. But whatever they, they bring is not going to succeed against the elect. Whoever the elect are, the Lord is going to be with his people. He's going to be with his elect. It says you will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. Right. They're going to try to accuse us of certain things we didn't do. And their voices shall be silenced. OK. They shall be condemned. It says these benefits are enjoyed by the servants. And first and foremost, you got to be a servant of Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. And not everyone is a servant of Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. Not everybody is even serving Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. People are serving their own belly, their own selves. It says their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al -Shai, have spoken. Right. So our vindication is going to come from Yahweh Bashim al -Shai in these last days, man. All right. The Lord is going to deliver us. All right. And, and that's our faith. That, that That's our hope. That's all we got. You know. We know damn well on this side we ain't, we ain't got no uh, power, okay. Besides Yahweh Bashim El Shai, okay. We ain't got no power on this side, man. So all we got is Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Let's go right here. It says Isaiah chapter twenty, uh, chapter fifty nine, verse nineteen. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shai from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. And they're definitely going to come in like a flood. All right, this man is going to come down, come to come in with, uh, you know, all type of hell, man. Okay. Um. Let me see. Let me grab this. This man is going to come down with it. So we're going to need Yahweh Bashim Yahshua to deliver us in these last days. And if the Lord ain't with you, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, man. Okay. There's going to be nowhere to hide, nowhere to go, no protection, no comfort. People talking about banding together as a community. People in these communities are already through, man. People drugged up. People, uh, 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 you know, are wicked, you know. You see? So it says Isaiah 44. It's like Isaiah 40, verse 29. It says, Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. So the, the power that we serve, he has unlimited power. OK, he don't faint. He don't get tired. He don't get weary. You know, he don't sleep. You see, this, this is why we the Lord. We are blessed. First and foremost, we are blessed to know Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? Because most people don't. All right. But also to be serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shy. This is why we, you know, push so hard, you know, because we know what's coming. We, we see what's coming. All right. It says he giveth power to the faint. The Lord's going to give power. OK. To the faint, and, and guess what? We are faint, man. Okay, we we, we, we don't have no power here. We're gonna give power to the faint. So when that day come, brothers, all you true believers out there, you know you're not doing this for nothing. The Lord said He is not unrighteous to forget your works or your works and labors of love. We ain't doing this for nothing, man. So it can come a time where you're gonna be in trouble, and the Lord is going to intervene. He got something called divine intervention. The Lord is going to intervene, and how can He intervene? Many different ways, but one of them is through spiritual power. He said you're gonna be a weapon. Okay. No weapon they form against us is going to prosper, but the Lord's going to make us a weapon. Okay, Lord, when we be a part, we be a part of, the, of that number. It says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, He increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, but and the young men shall utterly fall. You see, so these young men out here, you know, that's out here, you know, full, uh, 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 full of vitality, they gonna get tired and they gonna faint. It says, but they that wait upon Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall renew their strength. The Lord's going to renew our strength. He's going to give us strength back, you know, our, our, our strength back like how it was in the days of old. And even more, because we're going to need more in these days. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, meaning brothers are going to fly. You're not going to have literal eagle, uh, flock here. wings uh, form out of your back. No, you're going to be able, but you're going to be able to fly through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It says, they shall run and not be weary. You're going to run like the flash and not get tired. You know, you're going to be able to soar like Superman or uh, Omni Man, you know, and not get, you know, and not fall. They they shall walk and not faint. You see. So the Lord is going to be with his men. And I and, and that's our, our our faith, man. All right. Let me grab this right here, too, because um, and there's many scriptures I can grab. You can if you if you think of any, you can put, put them in the comment board. I don't have a lot of time. So I just want to touch on these, you know, precepts right here. OK, and I pray to be edifying to the hopeful elect. All right, let me see. Um, let's go up. It says, um, Psalm 18, verse 2, it says, The Lord Yahweh is my rock and my fortress 
and my deliverer, the Lord's going to deliver us, man. Not Esau, not Biden, not Kamala Harris. Okay. My power, my strength, not a gun in whom I will trust my buckler and my and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. You see, the Lord's going to deliver us from our enemies, man. We're going to call upon him in that day. Scripture says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right. It says, um, jumping right to the point. It says, um, mm, verse uh, 27, it says, for thou wilt save the afflicted people, which is us, but will bring down high looks, which is them. For thou will light my candle, the Lord Yahweh my power will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall, you see? And uh, our, our forefather King David was doing these things. How much more us in these last days? He says, by thee I have run through a troop. So when Esau come with, with his military and his you know forces like a flood, you're going to run through them, man. And you see that in these sci-fi movies and stuff, man. Where you got one individual, or even look at the movie um 300, you know. Another movie is um um King Arthur, where he he was able to pretty much stop time and run through through multitudes of people. It says, as for for my as for power, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. You see, do you trust in the Lord? Verse 33. He maketh my feet like hinds feet. He setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my hands. So the Lord is going to literally give us the power to, you know, and, and he's going to instill in our minds. Because Elon got these robots. They're going to know how to they're going to know how to fight. They're going to know how to do all this type of stuff. They're going to be fast as hell. Lord going to download into our spirits like Elon download into the, the mind of those robots or those the, 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 the computer, those robots, how to fight karate, all this shit. Lord going to do that to us. And they showed you that in the Matrix. It says, um, thou has, verse 40, thou has given me the neck of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. And they definitely hate us, right? So we're going to destroy them. We're gonna, we, 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 the Lord going to gonna give us their necks. Okay, we're going to have, have a foot on their necks, man. Okay, we're going to crush you. All right. I'm going to go back here real quick and just make a, a quick point. Before I came into this truth, I was praying. You know, I was praying a lot. You know, I started, you know, because this is. You started seeing all these jakes get shot up by the police and shit. And I remember I had a vision. I was just telling tell it to you. I told, told it before, but I'm going to tell it to you real quick. And this is what really what, 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 what guided me into the truth. Because I started praying to the Lord and trying to figure out, like, is this possible? You know? Because I was seeing all these jakes get shot up and shit. I was like, yo, you know, what am I going to do in, these, in, in this day? And I remember I had a vision where I was helping people. I was helping people. You know, just real quick, I was helping people. I was, you know, I was running. People were behind me or whatever. And we ran into some troops. Like three, three or four troops, man, and and they, and they lift, lift up their guns and start shooting. They lift, they lift up their guns and start shooting, and I, you know I, I I put my arms up to help, to help the shield in front of the, pe the people behind me, and the bullets as they were shooting was not touching me, man. They were shooting me, and the bullets was not touching me. It was it was it was something just like this right here, except I had my arms extended. So we in that time, man. All right, things about to get very supernatural. Call hello, you whole boss. I was shy, but I me come for that. Shalom. The bullet, and he stands there, unfazed. Imagine shooting a man with your last bullet, and he stands there, unfazed. Imagine shooting a man. Let me say this too before I go. I asked, I asked a lot of Edomites, and the Edomites always bragging and boast about their guns. Oh, I got this gun, I got that gun, oh yeah. And I asked Edomites sometimes, and I asked, I said, hey, what, what would you do if you were standing in front, in front of this, you know, uh, this Jake or, 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 or a man, and, and you go to shoot him, you know, and you empty out your whole clip, and this man is still standing there in front of you. And every time I ask them that, the look on their face is priceless. They just freeze, because they, 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 they don't think like that. You know, they, they can't comprehend or imagine that, you know, and that's that's terrifying for them because that's their power. And when their power fails, our power is going to turn up. Shalom.